Shady, are Justin Fields' expectations too high? You know what? I, I get what he's trying to say. Like, hey, you know, my mindset is I'm coming here to compete every day. I want to eventually be your starter. So I understand that. But I'm, I'm going to say yes. I, I think his expectations are too high just because you're not there for that. Right? You're there to get better. You're there to learn the offense. It's a new offense for you, right? You struggled in the offense you had for a couple of years. You, you struggling. You're not going to struggle this time. We don't know that. So let's just go there and be a better player every day. And then when things happen, if things don't work out with Russ, you can come in and you'll be the starter. I just don't want to make it like a quarterback controversy because you're, like, you, you're coming here not because you were a dog and you balled out, right? The team, we moved on from you. So let's have the mindset, like, let me get better every day for myself. Let me get myself ready to go so if anything ever happens with Russ or he's not playing well and they need me, I can step in there and be the guy. Mm -hmm. But to ha having that kind of quarterback controversy in the locker room when it's not really needed, because it ain't like you was this superstar player that we just happy to have. It just worked out that way. I just, I mean, I like that he's being competitive, though. Yeah. I hate mm -hmm. when guys don't want to mm -hmm. compete. Right? Right. I hate when guys just let the starters do whatever they want. I don't like that. So I do, it's like I love it and I hate it. The hated part is like, yo, just take this red shirt year Mm -hmm. Right? And learn. And then, you never know. They might actually come out the, you know, <laughs> take, take the backup jacket off, come out and say the day. You never yeah. know. Yeah, yeah I, from a player's perspective, obviously, I love it. Like, you yeah. should be competing. He should not be comfortable with being the backup. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't accept this as his, his permanent role with the team or in the NFL. So I, I love that he is being competitive and that he's saying that he wants to compete and that Russ wants to compete. Mm -hmm. Also, I think it'll push Russ, too. You know, Russ yeah. knowing that, hey, this is young guy behind me is not cool with being the backup. He's This is not a role that he has accepted in his career or that everyone has these necessarily these expectations. I think that Russ will be the starter throughout the entirety of yeah, the I year. Yeah, I do, too. Yep. I do but too. if he's healthy, of course, speaking, yes. I, I think he will be the starter for the, the whole year. But... You know, things happen throughout the course of a season. You come in and you perform. It, it, it has a lot of implications on how you what happens with your with your situation next year. Remember, Russ is only on a one year situation, so I love that he wants to compete. What I don't like is the boiling undertones of a quarterback. You can say, you can say his eyes too, though. Like, yeah. I ain't trying to sit, but he's going to play though. I think people think he's not going to no playing time. They're going to have packages for him for to sure. run the ball, not the, not to throw it, but to run the ball. RPOs, not because that is play. he's really good at. Yeah, so he's good I, at running. I, I, I agree yeah, with that. He's a great athlete. Yeah. I love it. And for starters, <laughs> we would be killing Justin Fields if he and he's been a starting quarterback for too long to get up there and be like, I'm just happy to be here and yeah. practice with the Steelers. <laughs> so I love, I love that. But I also, I, I believe it. I, I said it on this show previously. I think Justin Fields is going to wind up playing meaningful snaps for the Pittsburgh Steelers this year. I really do. Because you think Russ is going to be that bad? Or you, think, or you think that he's really that good? I think it's going to be a struggle for the Steelers. And I think Mike Tomlin has not a struggle in the sense that they're going to be bad. But the Steelers play in the toughest division in football. Right. And in case you didn't see it, the Steelers are going to be faced with the toughest stretch of games in the NFL this season. Once they get through their bye week, they play the entire AFC North, both games, the Chiefs and the Eagles. That's their last eight games. It's going to be a slog. And I hope Russell Wilson doesn't get hurt, but even if he doesn't, I won't be surprised if Justin Fields is called on at one point, like Mike Tomlin did this past season, with his guys say, hey, we got to switch something up. We're not getting quite what we need out of the quarterback position. I think Justin Fields is going to have an opportunity, and I really love that he is approaching it that way. Remember, Shay, like, I, I get the whole red shirt thing. He's not in that situation either. Russ is under contract for one year. So is Justin Fields. I mean, but you, he yeah, needs a chance to like play. He's, you're speaking like he's, a, he's like the answer. He's, no, I don't think he's the answer. But, and that's the thing is you're going to throw him into, you're going to throw him in and ask him to prove himself in that stretch of games, theoretically, which isn't going to show you anything. My issue, though, is that it seems like Pittsburgh is kind of feeding this mentality out of Justin Fields, maybe just to get the competition out of Russell Wilson. But... He talked about how uh, Justin Fields talked about how he wanted to be in Pittsburgh. There's a there's he, he talked about it in that same interview where he goes, hey, shout out to Ryan Poles of the Chicago Bears. He listened to me when I talked through my agent about where I wanted to go. So there is a reason that just like he doesn't say that for no reason. There's a reason that he wants to be in Pittsburgh. And I have to think it's because the Steelers have said, yeah, maybe the door is a little bit open for you to sneak in there and, and, and compete for the job. I don't agree with it because like Shady was talking about, I don't like having a quarterback competition. I don't like having your starter feeling like someone's breathing down his neck 
at all times. But the reality of the situation is they only have Russell Wilson for a year. They only have Justin Fields for a year. I just don't know how this is going to go because I don't, th I don't see it going well throwing Justin Fields out there as the starting quarterback in the second half of the season when you have a murderer's row of opponents. But, Carmen, you wouldn't mind if, um, if the backup breathing down your neck was Justin Fields. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Right? To be I honest. I, I think that Russ is in a situation where he absolutely has to prove himself. And you know this, Shady, that once the, in a situation like this where Russ is not being paid a lot by the Steelers, mm -hmm. particularly, he's in a one-year deal situation. Yeah, yeah. We do have some questions about what he's capable of doing. The longer that we, for, you know, you, you get away from X for a little while, you start convincing yourself that they weren't as bad as they were. You know what I mean? Like, revisionist history. Like, oh, wait, wait, a little revisionist history wait, going we on. We do have some fun together. So you start thinking about maybe Justin Fields could come in here and do a little couple things. He comes in and scores a couple touchdowns with his legs. Okay, well, maybe we do need Justin Fields. I don't think that they will panic that much because I don't think Mike Tomlin is really built like that. Same. But there is a standard in Pittsburgh that exists that other places do not have. Pittsburgh expects to win. win yeah. They expect to have a winning season. They never have losing seasons. They right. certainly expect to be in the playoffs. Right. And they expect some high-level performances out of Russell Wilson. I don't necessarily think we're going to see him during that stretch just for the hell of it. I think the only think reason the that we would be, he would be in there is because Russell, Russell. is... God awful. Right. Or if he's injured. He's, I gonna, just, he's gonna play though. He's gonna play. I think he will right. play, but as far as play, like, starting, as far as the starting quarterback yeah, goes, no way, he's starting have, a game. He'll have packages. That's good for right. him though. I, right. think, I think he'll I think he'll get a chance to start. And I don't think it'll be panic. I think look. The they already had a quarterback well, rotation why, this year. They, they don't want to do that again. Like, they don't, why would it if it's not panic because Russ is so bad? And it's not Russ being injured. What has Justin Fields ever done that yes. would make you feel mm, that he yes. should be put in as a starter? I mean, what can he show you? Can I? That he's just sitting there role. looking good. Can we yeah. do? Can we just? Can we <laughs> look like into the future? It, and it, it won't be panic because Mike T is not built like that. You're right. But again. You got Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Browns, Eagles. But what Ravens. is Justin Fields yeah. going to do against? How them? are you going to feel more Guys, comfortable throwing Justin Fields I, I out there? I swear I would have gotten there. I swear <laughs> I would have. Can you not imagine a world? Again, Joy, you know this. Pittsburgh has gotten to a winning record with Duck Hodges and Mason Rudolph yeah, before. Yes, yeah. If Mike T doesn't feel like the results are coming, if the Steelers are averaging 16 points per game like they were last year and getting to 20 feels like a struggle, Mike Tomlin will go in there to the coaches' meetings on Tuesday and say, I don't give a damn if we got to run the triple option with Justin Fields. If I think it can give us a spark, we're going to do it. How much points is that going to get you, though? I didn't we, say it was going to work. That's, that's, I did not say it was going to work. Well, yeah, right. and it, wouldn't Mike T know that? Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.